All through the summer and fall of 2018, this 1909 French Blériot airplane quietly made world history at a small grass airstrip in New York State's Hudson Valley. Right now, this airplane is the oldest flying airplane in the entire world. At 109 years old, 110 years old, whatever it is. <laughs> And uh, built in 1909, Blairie 11, right now it's the oldest flying airplane in the entire world. So that's very significant for the Hudson Valley, New York, and the United States. Made of spindly wooden slats, wrapped in fabric, tightened by cables, the 1909 Blairie 11 sports a single wicker stool and stick in the cockpit. And rudimentary gauges for oil pressure, airspeed and elevation, and gasoline. It was designed by and named for the first man to fly across the English Channel, Louis Blériot. A propeller made of wood attached to a 35 horsepower French Anzani engine whose bark is much bigger than its bite, according to the pilot who's assigned these flights because he's the lightest among the bunch at the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome. You know, it's, it's an over 100 year old airplane. Uh, the engine's a little tired, doesn't put out as much, uh, much performance. Uh, and we got 50 foot trees around, um, around the runway here. So it's just a little safer, you know, you do a little flight demonstration, you show it can fly, and then, you know, we bring it back to the ground. Um, just keep it safe. This world renowned airplane first arrived in the U.S. a few weeks after Blario made his record setting channel flight in a similar plane. It was purchased by beer brewery heir Louis John Bergdahl and flown in air shows around Philadelphia, New York, and Long Island until Bergdahl stored it away in the barn rafters of his country estate and then disappeared from public life. He was embarrassed that his brother and fellow pilot, Grover Bergdahl, had become America's most notorious draft dodger of World War I. Then, in the late 1950s, Cole Palin, founder of the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome, rescued the plane, refurbished it, and began its 60-year flight reign in the Hudson Valley. Until now, the oldest airplane still flying has been another 1909 Blériot 11 in England. However, it recently suffered some engine problems and has been out of flying commission until at least 2019 and possibly even longer. So with little fanfare, this upstate New York airplane is now the oldest in the world still flying. And given its past, that is simply incredible. It is the oldest airplane in the world still flying, but just barely a few feet off the ground and then back down to safety and security for a plane that is now priceless. Coincidentally, Bergdahl's brother's 1911 airplane was also rescued and restored in much the same way as this one. It's now in a Philadelphia museum as the last Wright Brothers airplane to fly and the most original undamaged Wright Brothers airplane in existence today. So, will New York's world record-setting vintage airplane remain flying? Or will it, too, be stored away in a museum to save forever? Words can't describe how much of an honor it is to be able to fly this airplane up, even a few inches off the ground up and down the runway here. It is an incredible honor. Now, the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome is closed for the winter, but next summer, they expect to have this old Blériot back in the air once again. The museum in England, which previously held the record, is trying to get their plane fixed, but it's difficult to get recertification for flight, and it may take a while. So for now, we have the oldest plane in the world flying still right here in our area. Go see it. I'm Tim Lake, News 10 ABC.